Hi, and uh, welcome back to Baldur's Gate and Arts Edition. I bought some spells, and I think that there's a maximum number of spells per, like, magic level that you can get, because I wasn't able to learn invisibility with him, and I wasn't able to learn uh, the asset arrow with her, which is weird. But I assume that's the way it is, or it bugged out. But whatever. I bought lot of lots of spells and spent lots of money. Okay, we still don't know what this big house is. It's Elfson. Ah, that's the tavern where the Husum guy went after I talked to him. I haven't I still haven't seen a normal house. That's just a normal house. Okay, let's go to the F Song Tavern then. Oh that's What you want? Corturnus wants to speak to us. Ah, you be fighters and mages and monster killers all be here. We may not all be fighters, and we may not all be mages, but each of us has a monster's death thirst to, you, to our name. Well, why do you ask? The roads be lined with bandits of every ilk and description, but the most fearsome be the monstrous hobgoblins. Do us all a favor and place a blade into their gut. Okay. He didn't really want anything from us. Okay, there's Hussam again. And Brevlik. Hello! Um, I mean, hello. <laughs> Might I have but a moment of your time? Oh, this is so exciting, isn't it? Oh, wait. You wouldn't think, though. You're probably used to it. Ah, uh, yes, well, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, how do I approach this? You are uh, for hire. I mean, I need a job done. Get my intent? A job done. Strictly hush hush, I believe you would say. Am I to understand that you intend me to do something I would not be proud to speak of? All I want is the acquisition of an item currently in the possession of someone else. It's not as though it's stealing. Well, actually, it's a lot like stealing. Okay, it's stealing, but it's only the one item. I don't want anybody hurt. I'll have none of this, sir. Be thankful that I don't turn you over to the guard. As you will, but I shall be here for some time if you change your mind. This is so naughty of me. Oh. Let's see, there's serving ranch down there, nothing else there. Uh, bartender, does you do you sell something? I don't suppose so. You want some whiskey? I trust you will keep your weapons with your wits and not provoke terrible while here. It's the best thing for everyone. You'll find that the majority of our customers are well equipped to defend themselves and if need be the boss will. Is there anything I can do for you? Apparently no. There's a cook. Let's go upstairs. Oh, there's a person. Hörrimak. Hello, pal. Can I help you, my friend? If not, please do not hesitate to get out of my face. You're interrupting my fun. I'm sorry to disturb your friend. I was mistaken. His name was Asshole. Lady Elendara. Something you require? Good evening to you. I'm Elif, the owner and proprietor. I trust the Elfthong will fit your needs, whatever they should be. I should be wary of the clientele if I wear you. Everyone is quite on the edge of late. A 
Apart from looking a little haggard, everyone seems quite ordinary. What have I to fear here? The elf song is somewhat a refuge for the less appreciated member of society. You will find that the city patrols give us a wide berth, though we are not unprotected. Theory is kept in check by the willingness of our patrons to answer with a blade. Though I suppose this is successful just as often as it's not. We tend to go through a large number of customers, though we keep the smart ones. Okay. This. And we have a merchant here. Do you sell something, or are you just called merchant? I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Fine, lovely day to you. Will you be interested in any of my fine arts and hands? I've endeavored to keep prices reasonable even in spite of shortages of late. Let's see what you have. Oh, he's selling four different... What's that? That's a ring. Infravision. And we have a shield amulet. Uh, you can use it to make shield. Then we have the protector, the one gift lost. It's a missile blast. Okay. Nothing of use to me. There's a ruffian. I assume that's not your name? Yep. Those are ruffians. Next room over. Nothing here. Uh, not down yet. We still have that room. Good. We're done here. Okay, done with the elf song. Next building. Uh, always have to shake everything here. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to the lower right now. We my exploration of this place over there. Always having to check for doors. Uh, we can't enter the other buildings here. So this sounds different than the other one. Than the other ones so far. Okay, we could. What's that? That looked weird. Can we go there? Huh. Okay, we could check here. I think we could go to the south southeastern section of the thing from here. And enter those buildings. I assume I have no travel times within uh, Baldur's Gate. I hope so. I mean, having no travel times would help... Uh, Oh, there's a beggar to give a coin to. Also, and also Mick Felly. Feely. Alms, alms for the poor. Daughter's house is rotting off its hinges. You assume the house has been abandoned for years. Okay. And there's Mick Feely. Hello, pal. Speedy delivery. Speedy delivery coming through. Must inform the Grand Dukes of the Nashville Mines liberation. They must be told I am supplies will return to normal once straight routes are reliable once again. Speedy delivery coming through. Why were you standing there then and you're going the wrong way? And that place is locked. If I ever feel like it, I will come back. As far as I have over 50,000 gold, I just spent 20,000 on, on spells. This is a general store. Great. There's a person named Marzia. Welcome to my humble establishment. Hello there, I'm Marz. I know my place doesn't look my, like much like a store, but I think it suits my purposes quite nicely. What is it that you would like? Normal weapons, not even the quality type. And that's it. Okay. Nothing here. I'm just searching for other people to, to give quests to me. I'm not searching for valuables in here. As I'm not the kind of person who wants to steal stuff. Because I'm filthy rich and I don't need to steal stuff. And we have this building that's locked.
one of the log buildings was placed in Nashke where I could, uh, where I was able to rest uh, without paying, so might want to look into that, or we can go to the central part from here, okay. But I don't think I have the need to break into people's homes, because the other room just costs like 7 for the royal room, or 8, or 10. Something like that. So it's pretty affordable. Oh, you may go the way that you haven't discovered yet. Okay. Okay, now we have the other part. There. <clears throat> Always looking for more back doors. Nothing over here, there's a north way out of this, and it leads to the northeastern uh, eastern part of town. Southwest is the place that I might want to go, it's abandoned. Well, although the house is abandoned, we had like two normal houses in the whole... We had like two normal houses in the whole thing. This is, this is the third one then. And it's locked again. Okay. Explored the first map. I'm not one to go through the stealing quest. Where is that? This one? From the three daughters of Chandler in the Ober in Oberon's estate. Okay. So I want to go... Ah, it's like a double part city. I don't, I'm not sure if I want to go north, west, or south first. South looks like it has a big building here, yeah? Might want to look at that. Go there, there, or there. Let's go to that place. Give the beggar a coin. Arms! Arms for the poor! This is a door that just doesn't work, okay. Also always a possibility. This is an open house. Go in it. Nemfre. We, told to, we were told to stay away from you. Hello there. Mm, you're a sweet one. Could you do a favor for an emperor? An old lover of mine has followed me here to the city and has been threatening me with some very dark mages. His name is Arkian. If you would get a certain amulet of his to me, perhaps there are a few things I could do for you, don't you think? Okay, Nemphre is... wants an amulet stolen from Arkian. And I'm going to go to Arkian and speak to him about that. And then we will see what the real situation is afterwards. I assume he's living next door. Nope, that's a store. This looks like a gain store. Welcome to my humble establishment. I'm afraid my stocks are not quite as full as they should be, but I do try to keep a good supply on the basics on hand. Let's have a look. Nothing. Nothing at all that I want. Plate mail is not bad, but full plate is definitely better. Okay. Nothing around this corner, I assume. Yeah. Another beggar. Yep, I have a coin for you. Arms! Arms for the poor! This doesn't have an opening. Let's try going in here. Works! Uh, that house didn't get marked. 
M free. I have a blade with the Texic, you what? stand here, there, stand where you are. Damn it, Michael, someone walked in on us. Okay, you, we don't want any trouble. Maybe this is your host, but right now all we want to do is leave. Don't give us any trouble and you walk away from this little pura. This a little pura. Otherwise you'll be dead. We're not the owners of this house, but we're not about to let you make off with the hard-earned possessions of whomever likes, lives here. Double standards, eh? You can break into the house, but we thieves can't? No, we didn't break. So, Texic and Michael. That's not double standard what I'm doing here. I was going into the house because the door was open. We get magical arrows and a few gemstones. Magical bolts, two garnets, and a magical crossbow. Okay. Arrows of fire go to Imran. Light crossbow plus one will go to Emergent. Gems go to the gem pocket unless we find the owner of this place and we give it to them. That's a lightning bolt. Okay. We're not in dialogue mode. We're never in dialogue mode when that happens. Nothing here, nothing here. Let's go. Okay. No. That happens all the time that you don't hit the right button. Okay. There are a lot of people here. So we're coming to like uh, lower wealth zones. A boy and a commoner. A girl. Hey, you. I want my mommy. Uh, I'm away now. Talk to the boy. Are you whining or so? Mother said not to talk with strangers. Okay, let's talk to mom. Pleasure to meet you. Don't come in here, you creepy guy. Yep, that's right. Should have thought of that before. Okay, this is not oct. It's locked. It's also oct. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Sometimes you learn a new word by just misspelling an old one. Arms! Arms for the poor! No one here, but looks fancy. There's a person sleeping here, Gento Landon. Who is there? Meow. Okay, this is, uh, you can steal stuff from here, but that's not uh, the other guy, Action or something like that he was called. Let's talk to Nikolai here. Glad to meet you, friend. I can tell you by the way you look about that you are new to the city. For mere 15 pieces of gold, I can tell you the glorious history that once cursed Caused through the weighted wains of this met metropolis. Please do. Ah, uh, yes, the city as we know it today falls in the shape of a plump and crescent moon. Its many wharves and docks just shut out along its western point where the river Kionta, Chionta, Chiontha flows into the starry Sea of Swords. A bridge from this western shore links the mainland with a rocky islet on which perches the old massive sea tower of Baldrin. Yet is it there that the true tale begins? Do you wish me to continue? Baldrin was a well-known and good-natured 
uh, pirate who sailed the sea of swords and times gone by, he built the sea tower that bears his name to guide him to his home port and provide warning of invasion to his kin and clan that made their home along the northern riverbank. In time, a vibrant group of traders and fellow sea captains gathered there and built the city's inner wall to protect their wares and belongings from the ever-present danger of rival pirates or orcish raids. You look distracted. You still wish me to continue? Certainly. Wildron was away from port during the time in which the decision to build the wall was made, and when he returned, he learned that many of his kin and clan now lay outside the new wall and vulnerable to attack any attack made upon the settlement. As the orcs advanced upon the city in early summer, it erupted into a state of civil chaos. It was at this point that Badron's sails were spotted upon the horizon, returning home to port. In rage, Badron slew the entire council of captain and merchant for such arrogance and selfishness. He spared only the four who had spoken out against the council's decision. Together, they ordered the immediate construction of the city's outer wall and the bridge gate from which Border's Gate gets its name. Facing a united city and a stout defense, the orcs were defeated and for their valor, Balron appointed the four captains as dukes of the city. Tell me more. Well, there's actually not that much more to tell. Balron eventually died, apparently lost at sea, and the four dukes passed on their titles in an hereditary fashion for many years. Now, of course, dukes are elected to office, although they keep the title until their death. They have grown softer and more tolerant over the years, however, and I think many people would like to see someone with a more extravagant, forceful approach sent to the position. But that is the future, not the past, and who knows what shall hold. Thank you for the history lesson. It was well worth the 15 gold pieces. You're quite welcome, and thank you for bending your ear to an old man. You're old, but you didn't... Sound like you were you were old when you you talked to me with your voice line in the game. But whatever. Okay, now we go on this place, this fancy looking big place. It's the Blade and Stars. Blade and Stars, I suppose, is a smithy. It's an inn. With a lot of person, Sheela and Elkart and Gaxia the Seer and an innkeeper. Gaxia the Seer. Yeah, mate. You are light entering darkness. You are a seeker of truth. You are more than you realize. The Seer has spoken it because the Seer knows the fear you harbor, the fear you shall yet become. In the lair of the basilisk, you will find a sphine gem. You would do well to bring it to me. His senses overwrought with emphatic uh, hesitations. Gertrude the seer had informed me that the future is hemmed in darkness. His predictions are less than surprising in any event. He has asked me to bring him a sphine gem. Uh, the sphine gem, indeed, then. Yeah. I was at the basilisk place and I thought that well, it was Mutamens. Okay, indeed, Dan. You are more than you appear. Someday you must journey further through the muck and mire of this place, for it will tell you as much and more of all the fab uh, all than all of fabled can it keep. Like yourself, the city is more than it appears. There are cities uh, below, cities dreams be below, beneath them, the past lying, lying buried be uh, beneath the crushing weight of the present. Go no wonder, for the time will come when you must walk through the darkness to find the light. We lost the Sphine Gem, which was apparently a quest item that I had that I didn't know of. And we did the quest by not doing anything. Something you require? Trailer sees through the mists of the lady that you are strong and worthy adventurers. Sheila sees clearly indeed. What insolence from one so young. Sheila does not see clearly but dimly, but ever peering through the mist of Lara. What's Lara? Lara, lady of mist, mother of all illusions, the guardian of deception, the mist shadow. Some say she died in the time of troubles, killed by Cyric, betrayed by Mask. Some say she loved Mask and loves him still. Some say gods can die. Some say gods can be born. Some say gods can live. Some say gods are an illusion we create for our own contentment. Some say gods are an illusion we create to disguise our fear of living, our fear of dying, our fear of being. If gods are a disguise, if gods are an illusion, then perhaps Lyra is the only beacon of truth in our entire pantheon of lies. 
But if gods are real and true and all loving, then Lyra cannot be, be a god and must be dead if indeed she ever lived at all. I don't want to know other people's opinions. What do you say about Lyra? Sheila says what Sheila has said. Does she not? Aha, that clarifies everything. Insolence, begun or who seek to dispel the mists of Lyra. Get out of her way so we can save. And Elkart. Hi, Elkart. Stop picking your nose. Get out of my face. Good. Asshole, I'm gone. Marple Willow Aspen. Pleased to make your acquaintance. What? You were going to ask about my name around here? Everyone wants to know about it, and you're probably no different. Well, fine, Maple Willow Aspen is my name, and yes, my parents were very front of trees. I am very aware of it, and no, I don't want to hear any jokes about family trees and me being the sap. Are you happy now? <laughs> Joe, what were they thinking? Actually, I was just interested in... You have problems? How do you think I feel, huh? Joe! What were they thinking, huh? What? Perhaps you should relax a little? Okay. I was interested in directions. Direct... Directions? You mean you don't well then... Uh, what can I help you with? What are the interesting sights of Baldur's Gate? Uh, Hall of Wonders, it's in the west central section. Sorceress Sunrise in the east central area, other than that I don't know. And going about... Did she burn to fire when I mentioned the trees? I have things to do. One not being sitting on me dover talking to you. Oh, that's another... okay. I didn't see that it was another staircase. Reginald Longtooth Worthington III. Hello. Nice to make the acquaintance of such a cultured personage. A fine and sunny day to you, well, wherever you wake and wherever you lay. I always, I, I always willing to extend a hand to a new face, so to speak. What can you do? Are you an adventurer? What do you do? Are you an adventurer like uh, myself? Have you anything interesting at your quests and such? Quests indeed, to seek that which is to be sought and find what could be found by looking in the right spot as long as they were left there in the first place. Discovering that which was known was but forgotten, but then remembered and sought anew, though old to begin with. Such pursuits are well worth following. You didn't say anything. Are you an adventurer? Adventuring, a fine and glorious pastime that passes time like no other, to seek the highs and lows of the depths and highs, to follow in the footsteps leading down paths, never trot upon to go. Such life is a grand one indeed, so though simple in its complexity. What can you tell me of the city? Well, the city is a fine place, quite expensive, and magic is most comprehensive in its lay of the land. It's a wonder to behold, and once it's, uh, it's simply its border gate. You talked for hours and yet said absolutely nothing. Some levels of what I said can be construed as nothing. You have absolutely no valuable information at all, do you? If indeed you are asking whether my discourse has validity derived from dispensing useful tidbits of otherwise unknown stratagem and statistics, then uh, no, I thought not. Alrighty then. Yep, I'll be off then. Indeed. Rightio. Longtooth Wallington. Didn't see the double staircase. Wait, then this must be another staircase. Must okay. Where's the staircase here? <laughs> Can't really see it. Okay. Seen everything. Or was there a second? No. Nope. No other staircase down. It's a really big building here. And a really small building inside. What's down there? A warehouse. I'm not breaking into other people's warehouses. That's not what I do. But this one here is supposed to be a warehouse. Okay. And it's locked. The other one is the warehouse. 
next one over this one is the warehouse haven't been to the warehouse yet but let's look to the other parts of this little town there's a boy here and another building and a beggar another building another building gold coins okay so we have these in a tavern the general store and the warehouse other last please place places to get to here let's go to the warehouse I think here that looks a bit like the perhaps this group needs not quite as much help as I thought there's a person named Naderin but we go past her now something here we could get something from there let's just check it nothing here okay wanted to look for letters uh, this is a small person I assume like dwarf I have no idea but either boot or furnish either way I could use your services some wise wiseacre tried to send a basilisk by freight and now it's broken free and is making a mess of one of the wares that they harbor as I said I need someone who's either bought or foolish Basilisk on the loose. Some idiot let a basilisk get away from the ship carrying it. Now the monster's loose in a dockside warehouse. Okay, that's a good quest for me. That's great. Uh, no, 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 not that way. That way. Nederen. Basilisk. Quest. Quest. Yep. Basilisk quest. Some days I can't write, some days I can. It's, the writing is not that difficult though. Okay, let's go to this building here. Ah, that's the general store. Okay. Uh, hey! Sweet bit. Third way. Commoners, 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 and the storekeep. Okay. Welcome to my humble establishment. Well adjusted AI. Hi, I'm well adjusted AI and my prices are sensible. I used to be called crazy AI, but therapy has convinced me that selling plate armor for three gold pieces and small duck was no way to get ahead in business. Show me what you have and I'll be on my way. You have nothing. That's what I assumed, that's why I went in here. That, there's more down here. I thought I was done with this place. Let's look at this building. Oh. <laughs> They're stuck again uh, behind the door they were behind. Okay, Yurik. Mother said not to talk I didn't do strangers. anything, just left me alone. These stairs I closed due to poor wood workmanship. Okay, and we have bartender that never tells anything. Then we have Senator Gwist. Leave me be, or the guard will have you. Why I said, milady? I fear the worst for my brother and cousin. cousin. They have been missing some months now, and I know of no one that can find him. Perhaps if I knew their names, I could help you. The names are Shank and Carbos, not the brightest of her. Shank and Carbos, um, there's not as much I could do as I thought. What do you mean? They weren't so gently when they tried to kill me in Candlekeep. What? They would never do such a... Oh, forgot it. If they attacked you, then you would f know full well what morons they are. Did they have any gold on them? No, I doubt it. Spent it all on booze and fast times, more likely. Good on you if you'd knock them out around. I certainly will not mourn their loss. Carbus and Shank, what a couple of moronic goons. I found the mother... Or... Um, whatever, a family member of some of the guys that attacked me in Candlekeep? I didn't even remember their names. And what does the, does the bartender do here? You want some whiskey? Oh, that's all. Okay. 
I've never gotten anything from rumors that I couldn't have found otherwise because of my way to, uh, to go completionist about everything. Okay. So we got this place here, which is marked as a warehouse. Okay. But this is not a dock, it's a dockside warehouse. And we can't go down from here. We're on dockside here, okay. This might be the Basilisk warehouse. And this is an other house. And we can also go through there if we want to, to make the way shorter. This has no description yet. And is locked. Okay, let's go to this warehouse now to see if there's a basilisk inside. If so, we're gonna kill it. It was one lesser basilisk, they said, yeah? Okay, no basilisk here, at least uh, I haven't seen one yet. The commoners, a lot of commoners inside here. Uh, this is like a stealth thing, a thing where you can stealth around and steal stuff and stuff. Yeah, whatever. That's not for me. Okay. So, next episode we will continue exploring Border Skate. But for now, for today, we're done here. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day.